Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's Out About Adventure leads us back into the War Within expansion, where we're going to be breaking into the uninstant version of the Rookery. And uh, I'm very excited. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and uh, I've been wanting to see if we could get inside. And you actually can, and I have a way in. Um, now, this isn't the instance version of the Rookery, so please don't get this mixed up. Where I'm currently at is over here, right by store Storeroom's Watch. And uh, yeah, I'm on the very edge. So you can see I'm just like right in the city here. Where the Rookery entrance is, you can see the portal entrance right there. But I'm not in the instance version. This is just the outside version of the Rookery. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to get started right away. We're going to get on top of our Storm Rider. And we're also going to turn down our audio. There we go. All right. So flying around here, we're going to go have a little bit of fun. I got to say, I love this expansion, guys. I'm having a good time with it. I know everyone else is. Um, now, you can get inside the uninstant version of the Rookery. And we're going to go take a look around. I'm going to show you how. Uh, where you're going to want to go is right on the back side here. I'm trying to fly out for a minute so you guys can see. I'm on the very back side. I'm going over by this golden eagle looking dude. And um, we're going to go up here. Now, once we get up here. Oops. What am I doing here? There we go. Okay. I needed to get off my mount for a minute. Um, you can go right under here. And when you get up here, just fly on the back side. And you'll notice a little open space right here. So you'll see the tree limb is just coming down the side here. You can see there's actually a little open space for you to kind of uh, get inside. So if you jump right in here, you'll actually be inside the Golden Eagle. And then right in the Golden Eagle, there's actually a place right here where you can put a pillow down. So we're going to put a pillow down like right here in front of us. And then you can get inside the uh, Rookery. There we go. So we're actually already inside. So that's probably the hardest part. And then now you can kind of just walk where you want to explore. Now, when we come inside of here, we get this really awesome, like, open shot of the tree that we're in. So the giant tree that's growing on top of the Rookery, we can see it. And uh, I'm going to let you guys see a cool little view here. And right now I'm drinking some coffee. Got some uh, sugar-free creamer going in it. I like it a lot. Not too bad. And I'm kind of old school with coffee. I'm just drinking Folgers, the K-Cup version. <laughs> I uh, I grew up on Folgers, so I think a lot of people did. I don't know. I think it's a good coffee. I don't need anything fancy. And uh, yeah, so we're going to continue here. And if you come in here, I love these awesome views you get. So if we look down, we can actually see inside the rookery here. And you can see that there isn't actually the whole dungeon in here, unfortunately, which is really sad. We're gonna, I'm going to show you that here in a minute. So how do we get down there? Well, there's a place over here. You're going to hit some invisible walls. So if you try to run like here, you try to run here, you're going to hit invisible walls. You're going to want to go in this little corner of the, I don't know, what is that, an octagon? You're going to want to go in this corner over here. And uh, you can, or you should be able to, just drop straight down, if I remember correctly. Or maybe it's this one over here. Oh, here we go. All right, it's right here. Sorry, I lied. So you can just drop straight down, and there you go. And you can just fall straight into the, uh, the rookery here. How awesome is that? And now we are actually inside behind the bars. And we can go explore freely at our will. And everything in here is modeled. But Blizzard does do a great job of covering up what's actually down here. Because you're never supposed to see what's down here unless you're actually in the dungeon itself, right? And I tried to, on my own way, to break in over here. Like, I tried to jump through the bars. But it didn't work. Um, unfortunately, whew, okay, we almost walked back in. But if you go on the outside and you try to come in this way, it doesn't work. So, I don't know, maybe you guys can figure out another way to get in here, but that's like the easiest way that I have found is up above. And I knew seeing that tree, I'm like, yeah, Blizzard, <laughs> you guys messed up. Let me introduce you to the Demon Hunter here in a minute. Uh, so, this is really awesome. So, let's jump down and let's glide down here. 
And as you can see, this is all walkable as well. And you can actually jump to the sides over here and go inside these blue crystal thingies. I don't know what they're called. How awesome is that? I'm going to get a screenshot. I love taking screenshots from my collection of OOB. And if you guys haven't, by the way, joined the All Things Nerd or ATN Discord community, please join. I'll put the uh, Discord link in the comment section below. It's also on the socials on the channel. And uh, come, come and join us. We're having a lot of fun in there. Everybody likes to post their OOB screenshots they do. And we got a huge community growing. And I'm super excited about that because... It just, I don't know, all the love and feedback you guys give the channel is just amazing. So, but yeah, if you haven't joined, come join the community. I'd love to meet you and say hi. I'm not always hanging out in the voice chat like I should. Uh, I should hang out in there more, but uh, just ping me on Discord or ping me on World of Warcraft. And uh, usually I'll give you a hello or a hi. And uh, yeah, so come join the ATN Discord. Now let's keep continuing the video here. Now do be careful. There are some parts where you'll like clip out just a little bit but okay so something interesting here because they don't have the whole other part of the dungeon normally in the rookery as you guys know you would drop down this little elevator and then you would hit the bottom floor here and um you know you just continue on in the dungeon through the hallways and all that but here they just have this part and then all of this below of the dungeon is there so that part is here and normally you can go in there anyways through the little hole in the wall on the side but what's really interesting is they don't have the extra part there. So we're going to fly down. And uh, we're actually going to head through the wall here. Oh, there we go. So check this out. You can also walk here as well. So this is all walkable. Do be careful with your camera, though. It's like one giant liminal space. Ooh, interesting. So look at this. So this actually... Huh. All right. Oh, never mind. Okay, I'm going crazy. I thought this was like all covered up here. Wait a minute. Yeah, no, that's not it. But yeah, you guys can see in here. I'm gonna have to do a liminal space video on this. I love this so much. This is a really awesome area. So if you're looking to just hang out in here, just get some uh, cool role play action going in here. Role playing for those of you like RP servers or I don't know, you just want some privacy to hang out and chill out in a liminal space this is a cool place to be it's very quiet all right let's continue down so we're gonna drop down here and we're actually gonna fly out this way and as you guys cool you can get an awesome shot here of the outside and you just fly directly through the wall here do be careful as uh this is probably all dc right here so i wouldn't go in there but we're gonna make a u-turn here and we're going to fly directly back into this cavern. I feel like when I talk, I'm like the Bob Ross of OOB. <laughs> I'm like, and if you just fly, you can go directly into the cavern. And look at that. We're going to do a nice soft landing. And now we're made it. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it's kind of funny. All right. We're going to go ahead over here. And you guys can tell, uh, normally you can get in here anyway, so... This isn't a very special part, but really I just wanted to show you guys. And if we look up, look at it doesn't actually exist anymore. This is all caved in, which is really cool to see. So there you go. Now you guys can see exactly what is in the rookery, uh, uninstanced version, and what's actually inside of there and how to get in there. So I'm excited to do some more of the War Within content. If any of you guys have a... Oh, I should say, if anybody has a uh, suggestion of what they would like to see, let me know. I will, uh, I'll probably be putting votes out in the community. I appreciate you, everybody voting on the uh, Maw of Souls dungeon. That was really awesome to see. Uh, that just helps me and it allows me to make videos so much more easier because it shows me what you guys all want to see. And I appreciate that because sometimes I just make random videos and I'm like, oh, this seems like a fun idea. And I have to say, a lot of my videos lately have been doing really well. And I love the love and the likes and the comments and everything you guys have been showing the videos. That's so cool to me. Uh, I never thought in my life I'd almost reach 7,000 subscribers on the channel. That's incredible. And uh, you guys are all amazing. So yeah, if you haven't joined, please join the ATN Discord. We got the Hide and Seek event coming up. I'm going to have more details on that. 
And uh, yeah, guys, come check out the uninstanced version of the Rookery. It's really neat to see in here. Really easy to get in, as I showed you. And uh, have fun with it. So, as always, guys, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.